Code six is Daddy needs you. Oh shit! Ha! Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? Roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back! Look, he's awake again! Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson! I heard witches would start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> For say, they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. Us. No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. <laughs> you will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, ah. are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges. Summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, 
and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History's known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the Wild Hunt again? Mm -hmm. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now. But masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who need in spite of such a And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still in our place. Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. 
This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't demand a better place. <laughs> I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at your valley! Cash, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Two and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Tamiria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. <laughs> I'll be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You've got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron, heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. 
Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men in your honor. In a minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before fault test? Never! You heard them, Witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. Arian Lavalet laid down his sword. Well, well. Have you spoken to him? Briefly. Just before they took him off to the torture chamber. The hard luck of a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edom. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open up! And the Baron lives? Yes, he lives. I'm not spiteful. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boats is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. Look, the king's special forces. We want to see him! You doubt my words, dog. Open the gate now! Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly! Protect the king! dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard.
Ha! And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time, but what other course do we have? This priest, what of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. You have just become the most titled Witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Scoia'tael. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth, or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Foltest bastards. The Solar. What happened? We might have arrived at the same time, if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Foltest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Boosie. Where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tails, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Foltest, before the gods and the people. Boosie and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tails, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The Solar. They're in the Solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! Ah! Holy man unharmed and the noble gets slapped. A win-win situation, if ever I've seen one. The dragon's back! I can't! Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells. 
Your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the Forefather and the Mother Creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king, and kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. Anais, help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, Sire. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the killer monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. 
He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just 16 when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. Streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Engerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls? Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Expected death than you, Witcher. I thought about letting the Reaper in first. Why are you here? Had a date with the Hangman. Why? They say I killed Foltest. Shame. I'd hope to do that myself. But tell me, what of my mother? Did Foltest hurt her? Sorry, I have no idea. We should go. We'll start by making our way to the oil store. I cannot walk unaided. You must help me. Lean on me. Done with him, Hangman! We're to take the corpse! Damn it. Hangman's so into his victim, he can't hear us. What the? Shout. Ah! I will not sign! Never! Ooh, he's a stubborn cocksucker. Best not disturb him. Hangman will bring him out when he's done. I think they bought it. We need to be careful. Nothing you can do here. I've more to do now than ever before. Alone. I need no one's aid for what I aim to accomplish. Is that your final word? Farewell, Witcher. Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in the Zima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Road shall see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. I ran into a hangman torturing Arian Lavalette, trying to force him to confess to incestuous relations with his mother. Foltest's children were to be Arians. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain!
Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same Honor prevented him from saving himself. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fall test to start with. I barely escaped in Edern. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal?
Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure the reception will get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That's... Vernon Roach. Special Forces Commander for the last four years. Servant of the Temerian King. Responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills. Hunter of elves. Murderer of women and children. Twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Jorvik, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps. And now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One Dwan less. We need him alive. No useful spells. Get his attention. We need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once, now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! Oh. <laughs> On what? That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you all right? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a Witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Zoltan. Dandelion. My former. 
Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here, help! Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoia'tael. Dandelion and Elven spy? The Bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about, but his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap! The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman! I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman! Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do! Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margot! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Square with yeah. you. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. Can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or... We can come to an understanding. Me? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, None of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to the tavern. 
Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Ha-ha! <laughs> Damn, that was close! Innkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. And which of you is ready to help the sorceress fight the beast? Why us? Huge it is. Big as a mountain. Then why get angry at someone who's willing? Well, cause... We'll tend to the Cairn, the sorceress or I. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll draw it away from the port beforehand so as not to endanger the likes of you. Well, I hope you succeed. I've no preference for who does it, witch or witcher. Just K. 
kill the horse, son, and the whole town will be grateful. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only- Come on, Roach. <gasps> go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You. I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoia'tael had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure. They eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do? I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg, as soon as their infamous leader joins them, the cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. 
You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Karen has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Karen and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll see what I can find out. Now you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Any progress? I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairans are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. We did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm. A sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough. Like every Witcher. New bruises and scars come with every fight. Toughness comes from experience. You talk like an old man. Yes, your hair is grey, but I believe the blood courses quickly through your veins. Have you made plans that include me? For now, my plans only involve the Kran. Farewell then. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kiran at Besnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. What do you want? to speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but- So get out of my way. 
He won't tell you much. He's dying. Wakey, wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorvith. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of Remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. What does Yorveth want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorveth. Tell me. He... We're fighting for much more, Witcher. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorveth will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorvith fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last. Fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Jennifer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. When people believe that the wraiths of the Wild Hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. And they made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But- Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... 
Right now, I should be searching the forest for Yorvith, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Watch out! Oh. what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you.
a witcher's blade. Lefo comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Uh, a bloody Dwan. We Enshin remember how it was. Uh, Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, uh, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted with these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. <coughs> Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the King's Lair, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt, deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind. Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled, and as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoia'tael. You heard? Meaning some goat's ass and a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorvith. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoia'tael. And Yorvith detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our asses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant. But quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. 
Kierkegaard! Stop bawling. What do you want? Go to say. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvef. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorvef won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One sick or on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorvith. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorvith know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. We're here. That creature crawls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorvith. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought in Erika some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us can build up. I'll leave it to you, get out. The monsters are not my speciality. show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, that gun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin Ep Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. If you speak the truth, Letho will die. But words alone are not enough. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kirin. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letho reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kalmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? You attack and murder the people of Flotsam, forgetting that elves and dwarves live among them. That's no life. They've been stripped of self-respect. Forced to live and die by human laws. They're more Dwan than you, Geralt. Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality he allowed the elder races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like old Dwan, but his death has more significance. We need to go. We need a ruse. Tell Letho you've captured me and want to hand me over to him. And you? I'll be unarmed, hands bound. If you're not lying, his reaction will confirm it. I don't trust you, of course. My warriors will cover us if you try anything stupid. I get it. I don't think so. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you always so grandiose? We could just tell Letho to own up. I'd fail men here yet then better. Conquer with courage rather than strength. Exactly. Let's go. Geralt of Rivia. Ah. 
What's the meaning of this? I'm here to negotiate. Ah, Yorveth, the woodland fox caught at last. I underestimated you. Who are you? You really don't remember? I'm sick of that question. So it's true. And here I feared that you would ruin it all. I am Letho of Gullet. I'm a Kingslayer. Joke's over! Unbind me! Tell me who you're working for, and the elf is yours. We work for ourselves. We? The Kingslayers. Demavend? Foltest? Who else? Who the hell are you? We've met Gerald. Do you remember? No. I'll never forget it. You saved my life. White Wolf. We fought side by side. Now we'll cross blades. This wouldn't be necessary if I'd killed Yorveth first. Surret and orcs will drown in their own blood. Oh, I don't think so. My men will finish their task long before the Scoia'tael in the Ponter Valley realize you're dead. Serret and Ox, who are they? Kingslayers the Scoia'tael are assisting in the Pontar Valley, in Upper Edern. I don't see any other way to do this. Draw your sword. Enough of this farce! Fedrai Enlay! What game are you playing? One that you just lost. Give me my sword. Get the Kingslayer! I have to kill you. Try it. Such a pity we're on opposite sides. I see you still know how to fight. A witcher and a few elves are enough to kill a king? You've no idea how many people were eager to help us. You really think they will all keep quiet? Your vest time is running out. The others will be judged and condemned for sowing chaos. So, why? You were one of us, Geralt. You saved us. Now we're even. Your witch is good with magic. Think she'll be able to teleport me to Edirn. If she behaves, I won't harm her. I'll find you. See you in Edirn, then. What happened? Where is he? Where's the Kingslayer? Fled. Yorveth? Captured. My men have taken him to Flotsam. The Kingslayer may attempt to spring him from prison. I doubt it. He needs Triss. Really? Why? I've set the elves against him so he can't move through the forests. I have to find Triss first. Follow me then. Long live Witcher Geralt! Long live Vernon Roach! Here's to you, noble lords! Long live Tamaria! It seems we've given the Commandant occasion to throw a feast. Open barrels of the best wine! I want to see whole hogs on spits! I hereby declare a holiday! Celebrate, my lords. Today's my treat. No innkeeper or wench will take a penny from you. Here's to our heroes. Have a drink, Witcher. Here's to you, Witcher. See you, Vernon. Right. And don't worry about our prisoner. We'll take good care of him. And here he is. Honorable ladies, noble lords, allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. I was so worried about you. Dandelion, we need to talk. Geralt, you're Flotsam's hero. Have a drink. Lorito's buying. Later, Dandelion. I'm busy right now. Won't wet your whistle with me, old friend? I need to find Triss. Triss? Oh, yeah, Triss. 
totally forgot. She went to meet Sheila at her rented quarters to see this thingamy megascope or something. Anyway, here's to the beautiful ladies. The ladies will have to wait. I need you. Come on. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Dandelion, look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Welcome, Dandelion. You're in luck. Freebies today. But you still have to pay for a tag team. Darai, this is Witcher Geralt. We just want to talk. Tell us who used this room most recently. Margot and me. Margot? The madam. What is it you want? Triss Marigold. Red-headed sorceress. She was in the next room. Do you know what happened to her? We... we weren't spying. I know nothing. There's no need to be scared. Just tell us what you saw. I know you looked through the peephole. Margot was nervous about the holiday. She told the girls to give freebies today. Then she took me to my room and we made love. Just as I was... I was, well... Well, we heard voices and Margot started spying. It was the sorceress and Cedric. Are you sure? Yes. We started fighting for the people, but finally Margot let me take a peek. Triss said she was going to see who the Ice Queen had spoken to recently. She approached the mirror and whispered something. There was a flash and a terrible-looking man popped out of the mirror. What did he look like? Like a worm. A hungry old worm. Huh. I wonder... Triss was aghast. And the worm said, Why so pale, Marigold? Have you seen a ghost? Then he smiled maliciously, and... Why so pale, Marigold? Seen a ghost? What is it now? Greetings, Death Mole. I wondered who Sheila had been talking to recently. Spying on each other, eh? That's new. What's your business? What's Henselt up to? Are you out of your mind, Marigold? Be glad I'm even talking to you. I need to know what's going on. Help me, Death Mold, and I'll return the favor. You know nothing useful to me. And I don't want your graces. You don't tickle my fancy. You've heard that Philippa has left Redania? Yes. Yeah. Do you know where she is? I do. But first, you'll answer my question. Fine. A single question in exchange for information on Philippa. Do you know anything about the regicides? No lying. Ah, a mistake, Marigold. I really know nothing. All I can tell you is that it's not of Henselt's doing. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Your turn. Philippa's in Vergen, a small town near the Kedweni Adurnian border. I know its location very well. The remnants of Eden's army have assembled there. Led by a lass said to have killed a dragon. Who's the girl? She commands a rabble of peasants, poor noblemen and non-humans. Even Prince Stennis Demaven's son can't disregard her. But that's of no consequence. Henselt will trample those vermin and chase them off with whips. What's Philippa doing there? Telling you won't pay off, Death Mold. You know too little. Farewell. That's all. I didn't hear or see anything else. What happened to Triss and Cedric? I've no idea. Margot pushed me away to get a peek herself. But I heard a smash, shouting, and a fight. Margot covered the people with a picture she was pale and told me to keep my mouth shut. We sat for a while and left only when all was quiet. Margot went to her room and I haven't seen her since. But I noticed Cedric staggering away down the alley that leads towards the forest. Dandelion, wait here. I'm going to find Cedric. What about Marga? Right. We should look for her first. Damn, we're too late. Why did she... Doubt we'll ever know. I'm getting Cedric. Head Mill, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric. What happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A Witcher came in. Attacked us. 
I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Eden, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, that she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edda. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls. And your memory will return. What's happening with the forest? I feel a presence. They come to bid you farewell. My forest. La Fayette will be great. Farewell. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What do you know about the Scoyatel, Zoltan? They want to free Yorvef and the other prisoners. Your help will be crucial. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. The Scoyatel don't trust you. Nor me, for that matter. But you can change that. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Scoyatel can finally be useful. How did it go? Did you get him? The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edern. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us! If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. I heard you have news for me. Lorido has a deal with Kedwin. That merchant living in his house is Henselt's agent. For a pouch of gold, the good commandant promised to support Kedwini troops in the event of a conflict. So what now? I want that spy to squeeze him for information. And I've sentenced Commandant Lorido to death. Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edern. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. I'll be back later. Damn it, Geralt, it's not a date. He can't keep putting it off. Please, I feel like ants are crawling all over my arse. The Scoyatel will be heading for Upper Edern. Our contacts there could help you find the Kingslayer. If Yorvath can trust me again. They're waiting for my signal. Once I call them, there is no turning back. If you want to help free Yorvath, decide now. All right, let's do it. I can't believe my eyes. We swore to find you. You've got some nerve, Horson. I'll help you free Yorvath. Really? The Sovereign Lord will kindly help us free Yorvath. 
after he so kindly nabbed him to start with. Ach, stop bawling. You can gnash your teeth, but the Witcher can be very useful to you. So swallow your pride. Sure he can be useful, as long as he doesn't betray us again. I heard you're going to Vergen. I'm gonna kill you, Zoltan. Ach, shut your gob. Geralt's headed in that direction, too. Once we free Jorvith, you'll take me with you. If Jorvith agrees. Drakenborg or one more passenger to Vergen. I wonder which he'll choose. Before he was captured, Jorvith made a plan to free the prisoners. I was the one to tell him they're kept on the barge in the port. Now Jorvith's there too. If you help us free them, you'll prove you're on our side. Excellent. I'm ready. We'll meet at midnight, near the river bend. You mentioned Jorvith's plan. Everything in due time, Gwynblade. And don't try anything stupid. With an eye on you. I'll tell Dandelion to leave town. You did well, Geralt. Let's hope I don't regret it. I'm here. About time. You all ready, no? What's the plan? We'll split into two groups. You strike from the harbor, we'll attack from the river. I thought dwarves couldn't swim. With a boat. All right. Form up, fall in, and we'll split up on the cliffs. Roach. Where are they sailing? No idea. At least they'll not hinder us. Enved will guide you to the docks. It's with all the soldiers. Did someone tip them off? We need to warn the others. Skyatel! Or not. Onward! I knew you'd partner with those hate mongers, mutant! Think yourself a hero, do you? Sail away, and I'll burn these sluts alive! We sail. Our women are prepared to die. But I'm not prepared to let murder happen. I'm going ashore. Get him? Mm -hmm. What happened here? The people of Flotsam let you slay their commandant, but they refused to help our women. They stood and watched as our women burned alive. You could have returned to shore. We jumped overboard, but got there too late. Dandelion ran about, calling for help. Even tried to enter the tower, but he was badly burned, while those human monsters stood and looked on in silence. How's Dandelion? He's below deck. Ran out of the tower in flames and jumped in the river. We fished him out. Sooner or later, humans will kill off all the Enshe. All dwarves and gnomes. Then they'll start murdering one another. Your kind knows no other way. It's in your genes. You'll keep killing each other until only one remains. The strongest among you. A thousand years from now, a dim-witted human barbarian will climb to the top of a pile of bones, sit down and proclaim, I win. Prepare to set sail! Did Vernon Roach sail out of here all right? He's fine, if that's what you ask. We met and chatted. Imagine that. I wanted him to know that he was only leaving because I let him do so. Unfurl the mainsail! Chose the right side. Wish I could be so sure. The assassin had had his day. Very true. He kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fulta's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. 
If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help... helpful. That's not nice. Highly useful, then. Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edirne. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Fellart did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Fellart to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy! You're no king! Your father- My father is dead! The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I've over 200 armed men in camp nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? In attacking Edirne, you would break the provisions of the Peace of Sintra. All the Northern Kingdoms will be obliged to support me. None will stand with you. Radovid of Redania, the Dukes of the South... You dream, boy! They're not to be counted on. And the treaty? I piss on it as do they. You are alone. Not entirely. I'll stay out of this, Saskia. Well, well, she has a voice. Saskia the Dragon Slayer. You're much prettier than they claim. You'll need to throw in the last two. Peasants should work the fields, not rebel and burn down the estates of their masters. It's to your advantage to give her... I'll up. not allow it. This land is under my protection. If no one else has the courage to stand up to you, I will. Listen well, King. You have one hour to quit Upper Eden with your forces. If you fail to do so, it's war. If but one Kedweni soldier remains on this land one minute past the deadline, it's war. You will instruct your heralds to proclaim around and about that you apologize to the people of Eden for this shameful incursion. Otherwise, it's war. <laughs> You've got balls, woman. My soldiers would call me a coward, or a madman. I am Hensilt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even a dragon slayer. That apart, you're a pretty fetching lass. I want this land. I want its gold. And I want you, dragon slayer. Grab them! Stop! Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr, and Militaland! Hey! 
By the milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia! And are the best company to boot. Yarpin Zigrin! It's been years, you old prick! It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost! Muster up a hug for an old friend! Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning you truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me! Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we're bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather, Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt. through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. You miss quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. The prince dueled Henselt. They fought as equals. Impossible. And yet it was so. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. 
We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it! A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft! More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice and Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with- Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the Fallen. That is all. Let me be clear, you're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. Oh, oh. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200, but don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come, though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads five thousand. Five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who oh, knows? For a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria. We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Gentlemen, I give you Jorveth. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the Northern Realms? This is too much. Saskia. Say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf. Treason runs in his veins. He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard for the Valley of the Flowers in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kadweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Jorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. 
I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! Poison! She's dying! Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter! She ceased casting spells. Is she alive? In a manner of speaking, I've slowed her life functions as far as possible. Her condition is stable. Do you know the poison? Thormador, commonly known as Mage Pain. It has a terrible reputation. An antidote must exist. What can we do? Treatment will require herbs, magic, and blood. Not ordinary blood, I presume. Correct. We require royal blood. We could use Letho right now. The nearest king is on the other side of the Mist of Wraiths. You misunderstood me. It need not be the blood of a ruling monarch. It is the genotype contained in royal blood that is required. Kings issue from ancient dynasties. Over the ages, to survive, rulers needed exceptional resistance and strength. As royal dynasties rarely admit common blood, the strength of their genes remains great. I shall employ self-healing genetic therapy that will teach Saskia's body how to rid itself of the poison. You'll have her drink human blood. No, I shall inject it directly into her heart. What kind of herbs are we talking about? I'll need a subterranean variety of purple foxglove, known to the dwarves as the Immortelle, and an elven rose of remembrance. Hmm. Triss had a rose of remembrance. She claimed the flowers are exceptional. Long ago, the En Shea, who succeeded in cultivating the roses, enjoyed great respect. Times have changed. As have elves. There are no elven gardens nearby. We must return to Flotsam. Triss has a Rose of Remembrance from Flotsam. It's her we need to find. Where will we find immortals? They grow deep beneath the earth, which should not be a problem as Vergen lies on top of a mine. How will they help Saskia? Mage pain wreaks havoc in internal tissues. The Immortelle will help restore them. What else do you need to heal Saskia? Thormador is a self-perpetuating substance. Any incursion into a cluster of poisoned cells causes an immediate chain reaction. Each tainted cell that is removed is replaced by ten new tainted cells. To interrupt this reaction, I'll need an ungodly amount of the power. A water or air genie, or one of the twenty legendary rings of power would be best. One to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. Right. And then I'll have to run barefooted to the top of a volcano. All right, all right. Let's forget the rings. I need a vast quantity of the power, no matter the source. Find something. An immortelle, a rose of remembrance, royal blood and magic sounds like a fairy tale. A poor one at that. No prince's kiss to top things off. I wish it were a fairy tale, especially a poor one as a happy ending would then be inevitable. May I count on your help, Geralt? You may. What about the Battle of Wraiths? I must first see if the spells keeping Saskia alive are in order. Then we'll consider how best to send the Spectres to their rest. Actually, you could tend to that yourself. Ask the locals about the battle, and maybe you'll learn something. In that case, I shall search for the Poisoner. You wanted to discuss something. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorveth, 
The Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take pitchforks to Kingdom of Son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. I'm not sure if Prince Stennis is guilty, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. Power. The object of dark desire. Let's go, before this dark desire becomes too strong and someone gets hurt. You go. I'll locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember, we need his blood. I remember. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. Nobody to keep things peaceful. Scale and Burden and his dwarves are trying to contain the mob, but they're badly outnumbered. The plebs will yell a lot, beat someone up, and go home. As peasants do. That would be foolish. They're not serfs anymore. The days of them humbly sowing and reaping are gone. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Scale and Burden. I keep order and Vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let you them- You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat. Where's this servant? Safe. The Squirtel keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every- Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. We? The mob's akin to a forest after a drought. One spark and the fire will be unstoppable. I'm no peacekeeper, and definitely no judge. We're both in it, whether you like it or not. Why are you getting involved? For her, Gwynblade. Certainly not for this rabble. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goats. 
Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. I want to speak with the Prince. You're unique, then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your Prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, Master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, Your Highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed the royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe, my head held high, and I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia? Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why! The mongrel covets the crown! Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that- Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison inside the chalice would be enough. I never heard of anyone poisoning a chalice. You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. 
The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stannis! Saskia's got her own chalice! It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never! It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us! A pig won't cut its own throat! A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his saviour! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis' room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes! His serene damned the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they want it, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stannis to join the conspiracy. Is Stannis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tomb? Olkan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stannis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed! The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. And what about he who poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Connie! And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign! I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No. You are guilty, Prince. You know you are. The nobles won't forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhard will get royal blood, and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia is the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Hensel with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. 
The Scoia'tael are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoia'tael. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence, how will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! When the mist started whirling, I told the boys, it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. She's got to be here. Philippa Eilhart located her. <laughs> it seems you met the whole menagerie. Will you abandon them, too, when things get hot? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles. But some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. Efkir Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the Ambassador. With all that steel on your back? Have you seen a red-headed sorceress anywhere? You didn't seem to understand my delicate suggestion, Nordling. Drop your sword. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Let Nada run. Geralt, I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Mr. Garamnith. I remember you telling Foltest you'd like to return to hunting monsters. Foltest is dead. Some still believe it's my fault. I have to find the real killer. I see. You may be a killing machine, but a murderer's infamy is bad for business. Why are you so interested in me? They told me you were in league with the Skoyatel, with Yorveth himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe in the ravine of the Hydra? 
The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vryhead Brigade. Yorveth was among those condemned. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of cold water, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270, the high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Amusing that the Skyatel believed the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the kings of the north demanded the massacre at the ravine of the Hydra. Do you feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The council and the conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vanamar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? If you hurt her, I'll find you, even in Nilfgaard. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Tavik or found him dead, it's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, Convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? Plow yourself, Nilfgaardian. Your words mean nothing now. <laughs> like the good old days. Haven't killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. 
You have a talent for getting me out of it. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Fultest's former advisor. This stinks horribly, Geralt. It would seem the North Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. Only Triss can lead us to the Kingslayer. I need to save her. Not only her, Geralt. All the other leads point to the same place. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the Council and the Conclave that once represented all the sorcerers and sorceresses of the North. King Radovid, the ruler of Redania, is also invited. As Loch Muin lies in Kedwin, Henselt is likely to arrive too. But a Nilfgaardian delegation. Triss, Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in that basket. One more thing, Roach. I have to go back to Vergen. Philippa may know something more about Triss. It won't be easy. The camp's in uproar. I bet you mauled somebody while breaking through to Shillard. Could be. Right. We'll pretend you're my prisoner. I'll get you out of here, but remember, our goal is Foltest's killer. I'll remember, Roach. So, ready? Let's go, Roach. Who goes there? Vernon Roach. I've got a prisoner. What kind of freak is he? The King ordered him questioned outside the camp. Outside, eh? <laughs> well, don't let me keep you, then. We should be safe here. Thanks for everything, Vernon. I owe you. You never cease to owe me. Remember my proposal. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen. At once! Scoyatel, stand aside. Favorite type of magic, Lesbomancy. What is your name? Sen What do they call you? Saskia. Do you remember what happened? Poison. They poison me. What day is it? What of the battle? Henselt and his army... Calm yourself. You will have your battle yet. I shall go and announce that you are once again among the living. Do I owe you my life? And Philippa. Thank you, Geralt. I promise to return the favor. Have you succeeded in lifting the curse? No, but we're almost ready to try. Vandergrift's sword. It's one of the conveyors of the power. You should have taken it. It's scrap iron to me, a sword like any other. The Scoyatel wouldn't let anyone but Philippa near you, and they wouldn't have let even her take your famous sword. I'll try to remove the curse soon. Why do you aid me? I'm a witcher. Curses are my hobby. I see. The famous neutrality. That too. 
Besides which, I don't believe any revolution can ultimately be successful. A very important rule. No ideal is worth dying for. I understand. Good luck with the curse, and thank you again. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Get to work then, Witcher. I'll need your help. I need to find the right ghosts, somehow. They will find you. The aura of the artifacts will lure them. Let them think, speak, and act. Then you'll know what to do. Geralt, there is something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It has changed. A drog. I expected as much. Good luck, Witcher. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. You're finally awake. Am I dead or hallucinating? You wouldn't meet me in the beyond. I don't remember coming here. Because you didn't. Don't forget, we sorceresses have our ways. In that case, thanks for your help. You're too valuable to let die. You did the impossible. I don't know anyone who could deal with such a powerful curse. Neither do I. Now, tell me everything that happened. I saw Henselt sentencing Sabrina to death. I killed the drog. You must have, since the curse is gone. I saw Vandergrift. I saw a rain of fireballs and death all around me. Everywhere. Henselt is a criminal. He used the circumstances to kill Sabrina. He hated her. That's why you sided with Edern. For vengeance? It's not about vengeance. It's about a better world. A world without Henselts. That's utopia. Passing through such a concentrated mass of the power opens the mind. Cedric was right. The power of the Wraith's battle restores memory. And what have you recalled? Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved him once and he helped me find the Wild Hunt. I just don't know if we managed to save Yennefer. Did you learn anything else about the hunt? When I killed the King of the Hunt, I killed a wraith. In my memories, I fight the hunt's riders. Blood flows from their wounds and they cry out in pain. Which means you do not yet know all. Not to worry. I will. You lifted the curse, but there's no time to rest. Hensult's army will attack at any moment. How's Saskia feeling? Completely recovered. She can't wait to deal with Henselt. She'll personally command the defense of Vergen. She's in her element. A siege can't be her element if she never faced one. You underestimate her. Keep in mind she's got allies. A famous witcher. And me. Perhaps I helped Henselt and put Edern in danger by lifting the curse. But I had no other choice. Sometimes you need to amputate the leg to save the body. Time to decide the outcome of this war. High time. Zoltan and Yarpen are setting up the troops. They're waiting for you. You're quite the general, Zoltan. Why not call me a bloody marshal? Sassy's got it into her head. It's either me or Yarpen. We drew straws, and I lost. It's good you're up. Henselt will be here any minute. Why? Would he be disappointed not to see me? He'd be bloody depressed. Henselt's experienced at waging wars, too. Experienced my arse. Once they stand beneath the walls, we'll douse them in hot oil and set them ablaze. Just do your part, and Kedwenny heads will fly like fattened horseflies. The Kedwenny are coming! <laughs> they multiplied or what? Time to give them a taste of hot oil. There are valves in the cauldron sides. You need to clear them. I'll take the left side, you get the right. <laughs> Uh, 
Repel those Ketwedi rags. They won't give up easily. They'll return if the thick as bricks. To find bricks falling on their heads. <laughs> Well, it wasn't easy, but seeing those ruffians run was worth the effort. They'll be back. They're as stubborn as a dwarven farmer. <laughs> but their balls are much smaller. I need your help, Witcher. I'm hearing that more often lately. Seems you're irreplaceable. Listen, tunnels run beneath the town and connect the keep with the dwarven mines. Who knows about them? Almost no one, but I decided to secure them anyway and sent a detachment of scouts. None of them returned. If Hensel discovered the passage, he's got us. A bloody gentle way to put it. If they attack from two sides, we won't hold the fortress. Now's the perfect time. Hensel's men lick their wounds like flogged bitches. They'll need about an hour to regroup troops and set up formation for another assault. Let's not waste time. I'll come with you. I'd rather you assigned me an able troop of men. I won't reform ranks now. This formation is effective. If they don't strike suddenly from the mines, we should hold through the siege. You're in charge. Lead on. Vergen is in danger and the Virgin of Edern roams the caves with a witcher. I understand. Your cherry is aching and thoughts turn to pleasure before death. Kill them. woman is flighty, but to that scale? Now you know my greatest secret. I had no choice. They would have killed you. Now I understand how you could combat such a powerful toxin. Philippa is a great sorceress. Even she couldn't have saved you if you were human. You're a witcher, so you know a lot about us. Only golden dragons have the power to assume any form. My father was a knight with bright eyes. He treated life like a beautiful adventure. He loved humans and tried to understand them. Thanks to him, I believe every man is equal and liberty shouldn't be peddled. Father claimed the world to be filled with chaos and order. Chaos equals aggression. Order is the defense against it. What happened to him? He taught me to live among humans and moved on. Dragons do that. Does anyone else know? Deathmold. I meant allies. Yorveth. Yorveth invented the whole Dragon Slayer story. He believes Eden needs someone like me, and someone like me needs a legend. He was right. A dragon appeared during the siege of the Lavalette's castle. I was helping Arian Lavalette. Why? He fought against tyranny and its transgressions. I understood him very well. Vergen could have used someone like him. If a dragon helped Vergen's defenders, Henselt wouldn't stand a chance. I thought about that. But what would happen to Upper Edern when the dust settles? You can't foresee everything. You know how the world treats freaks as well as I do. But if Vergen falls, your ideals will be vanquished. Maybe averting that is worth the sacrifice. Let's for a moment assume I revealed my dual nature. Who would lead Upper Eden? Do you see a replacement for me? It's hard to imagine one that compares to you. Dwarves will support their own candidate, elves theirs, and humans will start looking for a king. 
That's why I must ask you to keep this knowledge to yourself. We'll have to deal with Henselt without a dragon's help. And we will, also thanks to you. I'll never forget what you're doing for Eden, no matter your reasons, Witcher. Let's go. The defenders need you. What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Henselt personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they want to help us? Wizard good. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. <laughs> I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. The news that Henselt will personally lead the assault spread. The spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms. Legs and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. A Durnian earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! Fire! Freedom fighters in an uneven battle, noble in their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. I helped Yorba. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Elves are the best archers who have ever walked this earth. Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need to cut off Henselt's escape. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join Yorveth and shut the main gate. Yarpin says Deathmold's magic damaged him. Yarpin knows fuck all about gates. Cover my arse and I'll close it. The fate of the battle hangs on it, Wolf. 
There's no bloody gate that Zoltan Chive can't close. Perfect. We need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it. You thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. No time to waste. To the gate! Stop! Yes. They're cut off like sitting ducks! Maybe they'll surrender. <laughs> Your orders. We summon. The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. What about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin, before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Deathmold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor. Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog! You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores! Swear an oath, and you'll walk free. Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. It's time to go, Saskia. Yes. Don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken Fistech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. She was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Most things in this land seem to have something to do with Saskia, the dragon. How do you know? She told me. Then keep your mouth shut, Gwynblade, because if- I know what will happen if they learn, Yorvith. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhard already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. 
I recall perfectly that Alhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Geralt! Saskia's disappeared! People are getting riled! Dwarves too! Saskia's spellbound. Philippa controls her. You're shitting me. I knew something was up. I could feel it. She ordered Deathmold executed, no trial, just like that. A gesture from Philippa is all it took. That bastard deserved it. I wouldn't be surprised if Zoltan had ordered it, as vengeful as he is. But Saskia? Where is she? Philippa's taken her to Loch Muin. I'm going after Saskia, with Yorveth. Everything suggests those responsible for Foltest's death will be at Loch Muin. Some still say you killed him. I've got to stop that drivel. I don't have a choice. But you do. The elite of the North is gathering at Loch Muin. I couldn't forgive myself if I wasn't there. It'd be a sin against art. The art of poking your nose in others' business. You'll be needed here until Saskia returns. Order must prevail. There can be no strife. The victory over Henselt was an important step, but only the first on a long road. The hymn I composed could help. Virgin will need many more songs. I certainly hope our paths will cross again, Geralt of Rivia. Stop dramatizing. You can be sure of that. We've got unfinished business of our own. Huh? Oh, I. Let's go then, Gwynblade. Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast, shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Evan Gesein? Asire Varanaid. Me vol tort en geherdvin. Me vertruv het en bellengrik. Visse den ip kieseret. Ne den verb dene. Het en krisa. Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is? Triss Marigold. Until recently, advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression. Complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold, but it is reversible. Though, very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you'd know little about magic, Ambassador. 
It matters not. We need her alive, Asira. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time. What is your name? Oh. Tell me your name. Tritz. Oh. Wiese getoch gedein. Wiese es spät eb wovret. Dar toch eb nedling derien. Me hin a venens ep turin. Me perft in alverde. Marigold, your name is Triss Marigold. Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime. Or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Isleheart. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know of a passage? I know of a cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Rotting in the Redanian dungeon now, in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the execution or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmuin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well, though Gallows would be even better. If they kill her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Eilhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. I can think of a quicker way into the dungeon than the sewers. I just need to get arrested. They'll take your weapons and put you in shackles. Though there is some chance you'll wind up in Philippa's cell. I'll manage. Wandering through the tunnels would take too much time. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. 
To them you're a Kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time. Though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic. Telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty. I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the Rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philip Arielhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Dialheart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer, put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. Talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, witcher. Fortunately, Eilhart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy. Not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know. But surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. 
the Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful. Or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin. By my hand, no less. This will be no second Thanid. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me. But it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian Executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Loch Muin's in for a huge surprise. Both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Get me out of here! I need some answers first. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm. Her valor, her honor. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. All right, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? Got the strength to walk, Eilhart? I must find it. What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding. Till I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means, but I couldn't miss that opportunity. How do we free Saskia? 
I have charmed a dagger with the counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way! She must be struck with surgical precision, otherwise the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous! She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule, but I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes. The very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The dagger's inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. She's more than a dwarf. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself. Face it, Devian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Look out, Carol! Strange weapon. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. You're probably right. But please, don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Time to join the talks. I'll go ahead and see what we can expect. In a hurry to get to the deliberations. Has Saskia spoken yet? That cunt inspired dreams of freedom among the peasantry. Now all Eden stands in flames. Peasants slaughter nobles. They just wanted a free Vergen. Free Vergen? To hell with a lot of you! Freedom. A magic word. It can replace nourishment, inspire the masses to fight. Those who cry freedom can perform miracles. Stennis underestimated the meaning of freedom when he poured poison into the mouth of one who spoke that word earnestly. Edern has no king. It has no ruler. Instead, it has famine, disease, bandits, and poverty. The fight for freedom is always good, but then rulers must be chosen and it all starts again. Yet the free are joyful, even if a bit hungry. I see you took care of the guards. I hate those monastic curs. They're not paragons of virtue, true, but they were just doing their job. 
Then they didn't do it well enough. Can we go now? Yes, let's go. Time to finish it. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. So I heard. And handed King Hensult's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up Temeria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the Unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. Everything we did in Vergen will be in vain. There's still hope. We have the dagger. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial Envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demiven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart. Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Findeberg, Ida Emin, 
And finally, Sheila de Tanzavir. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Asira Varanahid and Fringa de Vigo, are also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Our queen will have to powder her nose. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorcerers. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Nguyen. A court of law will reveal the traitors. Late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Voltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorvet. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over. Or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Fotes to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! Remove the diamond! I'll give you anything you want! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south. To Nilfgaard. Where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher.
I think we can skip the niceties. Yeah, unnecessary. Yet I sense your readiness to fight on. We were fighting to the death just minutes ago. I understand. I believe I owe you part of my treasure. Family tradition and all. No need. Can you make it back to Vergen? I think so. I've always healed quickly in the past. Sheila and Philippa have lost. The Lodge has been defeated. That's good, though temporary. I fear we shall hear of them again. Mm -hmm. You know Emir's armies have crossed the Yoruga? I expected as much, as did Philippa. We defeated the Adernian Lords and Henselt. With a bit of luck, we'll defeat the Emperor as well. Time I was on my way. You shall always be a welcome guest in Bergen. I underline guest. Don't worry, I'm only ever a visitor. I know. Sometimes I wish I could see the future, like my father. And sometimes it's better to be surprised. Farewell, Richard. What happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. What about Letho? Strange thing. He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Are you all right? Yes. He saved me from the Nilfgaardians. And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. 
The one in the Megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I suppose my throat's a little dry? In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Covered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvair, the Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the Hanged Man's Tree, the Spectral Riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every Witcher knows that. Yet the Riders fell beneath the blows of our Witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Time to fight. Ready? As I'll ever be.
The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Lerido, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lobenden to hear of the Witcher's deeds. In Edirne, the Witcher witnessed Saski of the Dragonslayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edirne, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Foltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edirn, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>